To American Agenda, our next guest is a father and program director at the Heritage Foundation who recently wrote an op-ed titled Black Fathers Matter. Yeah, the op-ed highlights three key takeaways that black fathers get a bad rap. Being an actively engaged father provides a sense of security, confidence, and belonging, and to do whatever it takes to be engaged in your child's life, as the reward is so much greater than you could ever imagine. And joining us right now to talk more about his story and op-ed, director, program director of civil society and the American Dialogue at the Heritage Foundation, Terrace Todd. Terrace, Ed, why did you feel compelled to write this? What message do you think needs to get out there? Well, first of all, Merry Christmas, you guys. Thanks for having me. Um, what compelled me to write this story was my own personal story. Um, the involvement that I had with my father and uh, being raised in a single parent home and knowing that there's some data or statistics out there that are staggering when fathers are not actively engaged in their kids' lives. And so uh, with me being a father, married, and uh, having three daughters of my own, I see the positive impact that we're having um, and fathers all over the country, to be honest with you, uh, the positive impact that we're having on our kids. You know, we do have children that are graduating school, that are going into the military. And so um, I was. Uh, it was compelling to um, actually write this story to kind of change the narrative a little bit of what's out there. And in your piece, you also state that countless fathers have returned to once fatherless homes. Those are real success stories. Fathers must start sharing our own success stories to overcome society's debilitating stereotypes and encourage others to do the same. How have you been an example of that? Well, glad you share that. Um, I've been an example of that because I am actually in my children's lives. And, um, you know, uh, when I see the results that my daughters are having, I mean, my, all three of my daughters, they're National Honor Society students. They're on the dean's list and college. Uh, they've never been in trouble. And I see that all over, to be honest with you. Um, I've been that example because I've been there. Um, actually, it drove me to write my book uh, titled Just Being There that's out on Amazon today. Uh, called Just Being There. And so I realize when a father is actively engaged uh, in their children's lives, whether they live under that roof or not, uh, it has an awesome impact in their kid's life. And, um, and I understood that a father does three things. A father affirms, he provides, and he protects. And those are kind of the things that I've kind of lived by when raising my daughters. Now, it's interesting you say, even if he doesn't live under the same roof. So what you're saying is, uh, for those that may not be together with the mother, to st still be responsible and play a positive role in, in the kids' lives, right? That is absolutely correct. Uh, obviously, with me being a man of faith, marriage is the ultimate goal. Uh, a father being under that roof is the ultimate goal as well. But sometimes during, you know, because of certain circumstances, that's not likely to happen. But uh, also as an educator by profession, I've seen it work. I've seen parents who may not have been under the same roof. Fathers show up to the conferences with the mother or with a conference of their own. And, um, and it actually works out very well. Uh, the key thing is just being there, which is the most important thing at all. I mean, you know, like I said, if they cannot reconcile their differences uh, as parents to live under the same roof, that doesn't mean abandoning your children. And so uh, mm -hmm. it still means that reconciliation is possible, like with my father and I. Tara's Todd, uh, really appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Thanks for having me.